So my other video, and it crashed last time too. So I'm kind of monitoring, looking at my task manager and monitoring everything to see if the settings I have set up are good or not good. And the guy I just watched also said to just watch for like frame, frame drops and stuff because OBS will let you know if you're losing frames. Oh crap. guys and gals how's it going welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new I am Heather and the channel is Heather's simple life and basically on my channel I just share all the things I love that can include anything from gaming crafting outdoor adventures travels anything that I am into I will share on my channel um, today we are playing Icarus. It is a new game. It has not yet been uh, officially released. This is a beta and this beta is accessible to those who have pre-ordered the game and there are going to be, let's see, how many betas are there? So this is their beta roadmap here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So they're going to have six weekends that you can play uh, the beta and from what I can tell the beta is just going to introduce different aspects of the game or different biomes and things like that like for August 28th through the 29th you can build hunt explore and gain valuable experience in the forest biome during this first weekend and then September 11th through the 12th uh, the forecast is storms. Uh, the base building skills you learnt in the first beta weekend will be put to test as storms damage your structure and you scramble to find or build shelter. Uh, September 25th through the 26th that beta will uh, be get ready to brace the ice. Preparation is essential before you venture into the Arctic biome for the first time. Battle fiercer wildlife in sub-zero temperatures in our third beta weekend. October 9th through the 10th you get uh, to test the desert from one extreme to the other. Take your newfound experience into the desert biome the arid sands and canyons are full of riches, but light on resources to sustain life. October 23rd through the 24th, you get to uh, risk and rewards is the mission. Uh, take on missions offered by the corporations vying for control of Icarus. Balance the risks with the rewards as you discover more of Icarus's secrets. And November 6th and 7th, it's time to celebrate you. So these are community things. Uh, join a range of community competitions and challenges in our sixth beta weekend. 
So that's how they're breaking down the beta. It's not like from August 28th to November 7th. It's just each weekend they're opening up the beta for those who have pre-ordered the game. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. I did record this video once already and the quality really wasn't there. So I decided to mess with my settings and have um, decided to record it, re-record it. So we'll see if this hopefully turns out better. I mean, I did record different, um, I did practice recording with different, um, like settings to see which look good. And I'm trying something else based on a YouTube video um, I was watching. So, all right, did I pick, okay, I did pick Email, I want number three. Scars, we're gonna do number three on that one. We don't want facial hair. Tattoo, I don't know. I did pick a tattoo in the first one I recorded, which was that one, so we'll just go with that. Why not? Eye color is blue. Uh, skin tone, I'm gonna go with, uh, we'll just go with that skin tone. And the logo, we're going to use the Icarus logo because I like that one. Uh, the head cap, I don't know, I kind of like the one I'm wearing. I don't know, I think we're going to go with, I think we're going to go with three. I kind of like that it only has one uh, mic on there, the other one has multiples. And we're just going to leave this black. And we're just going to make my name, what my actual name is. The, there we go. Confirm character. Now, hopefully, I didn't test these re these settings that I'm using now. I just I'm, I'm going to run out of time to record the video, so I'm just checking it out, seeing how it's going to work out. I'm going to monitor like frame drop and stuff like that, and hopefully, it's way better than last time. But I did, I dropped my settings, to, most of it was to medium instead of high settings. And then um, I also changed the in-game setting. I think shadows I put to low and then anti-aliasing, I think is what it was called. I put that to high or something. And I felt like it looked pretty good. So we'll see what happens here. This will take a moment. This is the only setting that we can play on right now, so. I guess while we wait for this to load, um, I can let y'all know what's been going on in my life for those who have been here before and know a little bit about me. Um, when my husband officially retired this year, well, officially, unofficially, because you can't really retire until I think it was like 66 or 67 or something. So we retired this year. Uh, we do plan on actually traveling during retirement. So that's one of the things we will do. And since, you know, you know, I, since he's uh, retired, we've actually prepared Ben for and helped Ben graduate a year early. For those of you who've been here a while, you know I was homeschooling Ben when I initially started this YouTube channel. Uh, he is my youngest, so he did very well on his task test, which is um, a harder version of the GED is my understanding. It is a harder version, and he he'd had to take pre-tests before he could actually um, take the real test, so he had to pass all those so they know if he needed any extra work and he didn't need to do any extra work so that was great and then um, when he took the task the the official test he passed with flying colors didn't have to retake anything it was amazing so very proud of him and our first uh, trip that we're gonna make since Richard retired our, our first travels are going to be to New Jersey and Ithaca in New Jersey I am meeting a friend of mine uh, his name is GMAC 
a gaming friend. We've been gaming for a very, very long time together. So we're going to visit with him in September and also Richard's friends in Ithaca, New York, who he's been gaming with uh, on World of Warcraft for a while. So that is our current plans right now. So kind of looking forward to that. Uh, I am planning to hike the Appalachian Trail, which is 2,193 miles. Um, I was going to do it next year, but Richard already had plans for us to uh, go to Disney World as a family. So we're going to do that and we might possibly be moving next year as well. And with the AT hike, the Appala Appalachian Trail, um, I probably will be recording and documenting that on YouTube. So if you guys want to see that, that should happen in 2023. I actually have quite a few of my supplies already, so that's exciting. Um, I don't have everything I need yet, so I'm, I do still do reselling so I am making money on reselling I did post videos about reselling a little bit but I went ahead and removed those I just yeah I'm not gonna post that here I don't think so so I am still making money in my reselling business I resell on Instagram not Instagram on Poshmark um, Mercari and eBay so that's that's how I'm earning money right now to buy the gear to do this hike of the Appalachian Trail. So I hope, you know, hopefully I can get those, get videos recorded of that and put that up and everything. So, but again, that's not until 2023. So I will be actually recording some other like outdoor adventure videos too like preparation hikes because I do need to prepare for the AT trail. Um, Alright, anyway, let's get on to the game, I guess, here. Alright, so let me see if it looks looks way better than it did when I initially recorded it. I was worried I wasn't going to be able to get a video up before they took this down, so I don't know. I hope the recording turns out alright. I guess only time will tell. Um, I did start this game because I was, I don't know, being retired, I'm kind of, kind of getting bored. Not always, just sometimes I find that I'm bored and I'm like, you know what I could do? Since I do like my gaming, I can always play games and record those because that's something that could keep me busy. Now, will it be consistent? Y'all know me, I'm not really that consistent. Um... I mean, I don't know. I guess I did good for a little while there. I could probably definitely be more consistent now that I'm not homeschooling Ben and we're working at all, so I could probably definitely be more consistent. But anyway, if you guys want to just subscribe if you haven't and you like this video, you know, just don't forget to give it a like and don't forget to share and comment below. Let me know if you've actually played this. Um... I only found out about this game recently because I was watching uh, this guy Cryptic Fox. He was, I think initially I was watching him play Myst because I saw my buddy GMAC was playing that on Xbox and I was just curious what that was, which I guess it's evidently it's a pretty old game. Um, so they just remastered it or something, which is cool. But I was watching Cryptic Fox play that, and then I think it just recommended another video of his, which was this one. So I was like, okay, sure, I'll check that out. Like, I like survival games. That's what I originally started this channel with, was um, Seven Days to Die. So I figured, yeah, I'll check it out. I like survival games. And I don't know, I was hooked pretty quick just watching his videos. I'm like, wow, it looks like it's going to be fun. So I went ahead and picked it up and I think it cost me for for the pre-order, I think it was like 28 something with uh, yeah, like with tax, it was like $28 and something on Steam. So if this is something you think you might want to check out, 
after watching this video or someone else's video. If you don't like mine, that's fine. I will put a link to Cryptic Fox in my description if you guys want to check out his video of this. That's fine as well. But anyway, I was, yeah, like I said, I was just hooked and then I'm like, who am I picking it up? I'm like, it's not like I don't have anything better to do. I'm going to go ahead and record a video and maybe somebody will watch it. Who knows? Shall see. I need more I need more rocks. I know that for a fact. So that I can build myself an axe and a pickaxe. I need both. Yeah, like the first video, the quality just, oh my goodness. I didn't know I was going to need to mess with it. I have a Predator laptop, which is a, supposedly a great gaming laptop. So I was like, oh, I probably shouldn't have to mess with anything. But no, I did. So my other video, and it crashed last time too. So I'm kind of monitoring looking at my task manager and monitoring everything to see if the settings I have set up will, are good or not good. And the guy I just watched also said to just watch for like frame, frame drops and stuff because OBS will let you know if you're losing frames. Oh crap. I don't really want to fight a wolf because I didn't make a spear yet. So that's kind of scary. That he just kind of strolled over there. Guess I moved quickly enough for him not to notice me. Awesome. Oh, what am I stuck on? I don't know. Hopefully the quality looks a little better. Shall see. Three blueprint points. Alright, so let's check out our blueprint points. Um, let's see. Hopefully I don't get attacked while I'm looking at this. Tech tree. So, I do want a weapon. And that. And I think we're going to get bandages in case I am attacked or something. So, now I should be able to craft a spear to protect myself with. That might be priority over axe. I don't know, really. Craft an axe. And like I said, I did watch Cryptic Fox. I think his video was like three hours long. So, yeah. Is that. Um, and I think I did actually end up watching the whole thing. I wasn't going to. And then I was like, nah, I'm just going to watch it all. Why not? Oh, there's another wolf. Jeez. I don't know, though. I feel like maybe with these settings that I have, it's maybe lagging the game a little bit. I don't remember it feeling stuttery before, so. Well, yeah, let's see. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's because I put these freaking glasses on and it looks a little different. So I don't really need glasses while I'm playing the game, but I wanted to be able to see anything that pops up. Alright, so. So, anyway, so we have our tech tree, and you'll get points that you can spend on all this stuff. Alright, so. Um, I am going to work on getting this stuff, this, maybe that, I don't know, because I don't know when I'll be able to build. When am I actually going to be able to build? Is this the building section? Alright, and then we have talents. So I'm going to put, I think I put in stamina. Oh, I think there's a wolf here. That's weird because it didn't start with wolves before. Like there weren't wolves nearby whenever I did my first recording. It was all deer and stuff. So it's a little different this time. I just don't want to be slaughtered while I'm trying to put points in. Oh, I only had one to put in. Okay, well... Well, that's all right, I guess. All right, let's cut some trees down. 
Yeah, this stuff in the first video, it just looked, I don't know, it was really wasn't great. Oh, it's not going to fall because the other trees. Awesome. No, don't fall on me. Don't be super bad. Yeah, it does injure you when it falls on you. Which is kind of... I mean, it makes sense, but kind of scary. Oopsie. They don't roll away. But I guess I can go over a few things. I meant to move my picture for you guys. Uh, but down in the right hand corner or the left hand corner you have your health bar uh, whether you're too hot or too cold and then you also have the uh, like your your stats uh, the things you have to keep an eye on for this game are your oxygen uh, your food let's go into inventory because that'll show you that so you have oxygen food and water so we have to keep an eye on those stats constantly for sure um, pick that up oh still here in the wolves Oh, it says pick up. Never mind. Silly girl. Well, at least I'm prepared if there's a freaking wolf. For the most part. Since I actually... Alright. Let's go down to the water. And get some water. Well, there were some berries over here, I think. Yeah, it kind of seems like it's... I don't know, it feels laggy, these new settings that I'm trying. I mean, I feel like it still looks decent, but I feel like it's kind of lagging a little bit. Maybe ever so slightly. I don't know, might be in my head. Oh, and this is Oxite. Oxite? Is that how you say that? I think that's how you say that. Which is something that you can put in your inventory. Please tell me that's not a wolf. No, it was a deer. Holy bejeebies. So much shrubbery around here I couldn't tell. Alright, so if we open our inventory, this stuff you can put in here. Uh, oxide and it increases your oxygen for you and then the water I don't know it's weird you don't have to boil it at all you can just go down here and hold F to drink it and that's good um, so that's not too bad I mean it makes it kind of easy, you know, because you don't, you don't have to boil the water, which I don't know if maybe the water will have more benefits if it is boiled, but I don't have a container to put water in, so it's not something I can really, can't really boil water at this point. Oh shit, that scared the crap out of me. Mama deer and baby deer. Holy bejeebies. Holy bajabies. Oh my word. Can you not? Alright, let's grab some more of this. And you can find this in big boulders too. Um, we can't build a shelter yet. That's not really a thing for us. We can, on the other hand, though, grab... We can kill us a fish here. And you need to keep in mind the fish will bite you in this game, so... I believe they might be a type of piranha, quite possibly. Let's see if we can get any of them to come up here. Fish! Fish, fish, fish! 
I would go after the deer, but I don't really have a... I mean, you can throw this. This works as a spear, or you can throw it. You can just poke them, or you can throw it at them. I was trying to get some food, but... I mean, I can kill a wolf. I did actually kill a wolf. I was work working with my settings, so... I could kill a wolf, I guess, if I absolutely needed to, which technically I do because I need leather and stuff, so. I uh, say it's dropping frames at all? It doesn't say it is. No shelter. Yeah, I know I don't have a shelter. I can't have a shelter yet. All right, oxygen. Let's put some more of this in here. Um... I think we're going to just eat this whole stack of berries for now. That works. I think we have more points to spend. Oh, let me show you the, the ore up here. The ore. Alright. Is there a... Uh-oh. Is that a wolf coming? sounded like something growling. I guess maybe not. Maybe it's just her breathing weird. Oh no, there is a wolf right here. Alright, um, let's go this way. I mean, we could try and fight him. I guess we want... I just wanted to show you the ore. So this is the oxide ore. I know I'm exposed. What's new? The exposure is real. Yeah, if I had posted the other video, holy crap, the quality was really horrible. And I'm like, there's no way you can post that, Heather, because people are going to be so disappointed in the quality, so... just, I don't know, it wasn't very clear. Things just didn't seem like they were rendering in properly, so I just had to turn my settings down a little bit. Now this oxide, you can actually, you can just consume it too, if you like right click on it, you can put consume, but it works just as well if you just put it in your inventory like that, so it's all good. Now, did our wolf friend leave or what? I don't know if he did. I feel like he left. Yeah, I might mess with the settings a little more too. Because like when I walk up to that. I mean it definitely looks better than it did. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is he going after me or after this? I'm confused. I hear him, but I don't see him. Is he stuck on something? Oh, here he is. Alright, let's just try and fight him, I guess. Oh, he doesn't want to fight staying away. Alright, good. Stay away then. I don't want to fight you anyway, buddy. Don't you come over here once I pull my pickaxe out. I kind of do need to fight him though because we need to lay a bedroll. Um, I guess that ensures we have somewhere to spawn if we die. Maybe if I kill him I can feel a little safer. I don't know. He doesn't appear to be coming this way at the moment. Just gonna pick these up. Some of these plants are good for uh, medicinal purposes so did to pick them up. I 
Well, see, there's a raccoon. Kill him, too. Alright, I don't know if we're safe, but we're gonna, like, open our inventory here for a quick second. But yeah, it definitely looks way better than it was when I initially recorded a video. Alright, let's see. Tech tree. What do we want to unlock here? We want to be able to build that. So we have two more points. Um, I think we're going to go with storage and a bedroll. And then we have a talent. Uh, increase inventory weight capacity. I'm going to do that for now. Alright, did I... I did put in that we could make a uh, storage container, right? So let's go ahead and craft one of those. So I can put some stuff down so I don't become over encumbered. didn't want to be carrying way too much stuff. I keep thinking a wolf is coming. Don't know. Please don't while I'm putting crap in here. I wish you could just click to put the stuff in here, but you really can't do that, unfortunately. So I'm only going to keep one stack of everything in my inventory if I can. There's no reason to have multiple stacks of this stuff in my inventory. Well, I don't feel like it's necessary, really. Put in there. That. No. Oh. I don't know why the wood separated like that. Um... So that can hold 200. So why aren't those together? And I really want to put these down. Maybe I should build another box. I think we're going to build another box. Because I just have way too much crap. Way too much. The box go. Oh, I put it down here. Alright, good. Works for me. This way we don't have to carry all this crap around with us. Like it! I don't know if that really opened very well, but there we go. Alright. There we go. And let's see, we're going to go to our inventory, put this in here. It can hold up to 50. So that's great. All right. Let's see where we're gonna go now. Um, we have to gain more points. So, wait a minute. Is the wolf attacking this thing or not? Nope. They seem to be buddies. But if I go over there, oh, there's two wolves over here. That's not amazing at all. But here's some other ore. Which one is this? I think that's the copper vein. Yeah, they kind of seem to be hung up on each other there. I feel like I want some leather, so I'm going to risk it for the biscuit to attack the wolf. Hey, buddy. Oh, are you stuck? Got him. Oh, one thing we didn't do though. I make a skimming knife. Uh, and I'm bleeding. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't take bandages. Now nah, I'm probably gonna be bleed to death. All right, we're gonna eat this. And we should be able to do a knife. Yeah, we we're able to do that. A skinning knife. And then we can skin this fella here. I can't make bandages, so hold to carry. No, I don't want to carry. F. Ooh, 
we will skin him. Ah. Have to take all. And then you can break his bone down. I guess you do with the pickaxe. I have no idea. It just makes most sense to do that because that's what you use for like the ore and the stone. I wouldn't think you would use a uh, an axe for that. Oh wait a minute, what is this? Did we kill the raccoon too? Oh, it was another wolf. What? We killed two wolves? I don't remember killing two wolves, but okay. Yeah, the animations need a little work, but you know, it's all good. Um, uh-oh. Is that a sheep or was that a wolf? It sounded like a sheep. It is a sheep. I don't know where he's at. Stuck somewhere though. Alright, so let's get this. So, anyway, what games have you guys been playing for my gaming? My gamers who like to watch the channel. What games have you been playing lately? Uh, before I found this, I was, I've actually been on console a lot, honestly. Yeah, I've been playing bigger on uh, Xbox. Some Call of Duty, some... Um, let's see, what did I say? Bigger Call of Duty? What's the other game? Oh, and Fortnite. You don't really have to have a lot of skill to play Fortnite. It's just fun to play. Well, honestly, you do have to have a lot of skill to play Fortnite, especially if you're going to build as well. I typically don't build. I take shelter elsewhere. But the girl I play with, she does pretty well. She does alright building. She's not a big builder either, but she definitely practices more than I do. So... Anyway... All right, let's see. So we got more tech points. Because, what did I say I wanted to do? Oh, no, I did do bandages, so I just need to craft bandages. Um, I want to do a torch. I think I want to do a torch next. It says I have three points, so we might as well do that. Um... How about, we'll just, we don't really need to do the repair hammer. We'll just do this for now, I guess. Well, what is this? Thatch bean. Oh, a thatch bean. Well, I'm not building right now, so I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, I don't really want that. I can build this, but I can't build these yet, so that's kind of waste, but we're going to do that anyway. Uh, naturally preserved. So we're going to slow our food decay by putting a point in there because your food will decay. So, um, speaking of that, how about we build a fire? Fire pit. Oh, well, we need stone first so we can cook our two meat that we have. So, I thought there was an animal coming. I hit this. Oh, I can hit this. Alright, so let's see if we have enough to build that now. Let's go ahead and craft that so we can cook this meat and eat it. Um, okay. So we're going to put that close to our base. How about, oh, let me put it right there. Please don't let anything attack me while I'm putting this down. That would be kind of annoying. That right there. Open that bad boy up. We're going to put, uh, we don't have much wood here, but we're going to put that as our source. And we'll activate that. 
and we'll put this over there. And I know it cooks them individually because I, like I said, I already recorded a video for y'all and it just didn't happen. It just looked like crap. Hopefully this looks better. I will see. Just using my Adobe Premiere Elements could possibly mess it up and make it not as great a quality. I don't know. Of course, they get caught on each other. That's what they do. At least it's falling the right way and not on top of me. Alright, let me go get this meat. Okay. Oh, well, they weren't even both done. Alright, let's eat this one. And this one. And we will take all from here and turn this off so we don't waste all our wood. Alright, so our food's good. We probably should go collect... Uh, I like how they splinter when they fall because that's what would really happen. So, a lot of games you play, it doesn't splinter like that when the tree falls. And if you see a tree in real life that has been cut down, it is going to splinter like that. So, I thought that was kind of interesting. I liked that aspect. Of course, it should be splintered more here too, I would think. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm not a lumberjack. Give me these. Give me all this stuff. Finish collecting my tree. Alright. So, we shall go to our water source. Oh, and to pull up your map, it's just M, like with most games. So, yeah. That's our map. And if I understand this correctly, we only have... Um, if you look at the top, it tells you your mission timer, so that's how much time I think we have actually on this planet. So, and then I think later on we'll get to go to a different planet. I think that's why it's showing you the different biomes that you'll be going in for the betas. Water's low. I know, bro. Going. Stop rushing a girl. There you go. See, we're all good now. It's all good. Pick that up. But anyway, that's pretty much the basics of this so far. Um, I haven't picked up a lot of the other ore yet because I'm pretty sure it's going to be a while before I can use that ore anyway, so I don't really see the point in collecting that at this point. I mean, I guess I can probably doesn't hurt. But I figure collect things I can actually use right now. I, I should probably get some more of this oxide stuff. Oh, wrong thing. Whoopsie. We should probably make a bed roll. We should have leather since I killed a couple of wolves. And, oh no, it was just wolves, right? It wasn't, I thought I was sick and I killed a raccoon too. But no, it was just the two wolves, but I saw two, but they weren't that close to each other, so I really didn't think we were going to kill two of them. I mean, I might go until it gets dark and then end the video when it's dark because it's really hard for you guys to see at night. So there's not really, I'll basically be doing the same thing at night that I'm doing during the day. So, so probably when it gets dark, we'll just end the video there. And if y'all have checked out the game, you should let me know in the comments what you think of it. And, I mean, if you haven't played, you could let me know what you think of the gameplay that I've shown so far. If you want, that's cool, too. I'm just curious what others might think. Uh, let's see. 
What is this? Oh, okay, yes, I opened the container. I didn't say I was open. Some silly like that. We got wheat. Got that. Um, go ahead and put that in there. Might as well eat these berries. I don't see why not. And let's see if we can't make ourselves a bedroll. So, yes, we can. Craft a bedroll. So, now this should allow me to spawn here if I were to die. That's how I understand it. Unless you have to have a shelter. I don't know. All right. Where do we want to put our bed roll? How about we put it like right there? There we go. Now what's it say? Hold to pick up. Oh, I thought it said something else. Hold to pick up. More restored, restorative sleep. Restorative than sleeping on a bare ground. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, let's cut down some more trees. Oh yeah, I'm still bleeding. Why didn't I make myself a bandage? Silly girl. How many can I make? Bandages. Where are they going? Oh, they're going right on my inventory bar. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna make eight. I'll use three. And then just have eight on me. I forgot I was bleeding. Been bleeding all day. What the heck? So how do I use that consume item? Uh, what? Basic bandage. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, you have to hold it down. Oh, that's why. I'm like, why isn't it working? Now, I don't know if the bandage will give me more health. Or if it just prevents bleeding. It looks like it's restoring health, all right. But I'm not going to use them all. And it is about to get dark, so I think we will call it there. We'll call it quits there. Um, hopefully this video turned out better than the other one that I was going to put up. And then I decided, no, nope, let's not put that up because we don't want to put up poor quality. But it did feel laggy for some reason. I'm not sure why that would be a thing. Oh, and by the way, this game is co-op for up to eight players as well. So that could be fun. We'll see what we think of that if we ever get to that point. Hopefully. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I don't put videos up all the time. I'm not it's like, it's like a weekly thing. I mean, I could possibly do that since I'm no longer working and I'm no longer homeschooling my son. I basically sit and watch YouTube videos all day or do crafting stuff or sometimes we'll go uh, out on a hike or something or whatever, but and I'm a movie junkie, so I watch lots of movies as well. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will try to put up uh, another one for the next beta that comes out, um, which will be, I think it was September 11th or something, 10th and 11th or something like that. So anyway, thanks for watching, y'all, and have a great night or day, whatever time of day it is for you. Anyway, catch you later. Bye.